Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Look at a Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. Today is another update on my Gunpla Builders World Cup Champion video. Now I'm on a bit of a modeling holiday and I've got a couple of weeks off work to finish this entry. There is exactly about way less than three weeks and um, I've got my final shift coming up during the weekend so the next five days I'm going to be working on this uh, solidly and then the next two weeks I should have um, only four, four to five days straight to finish everything off. I'm extremely optimistic and uh, things are looking pretty good. Let's have a look at them. Now first the diorama it is 100% finished. I did promise by the next video that it would be primed. Uh, this did not occur because of the extreme cold weather. The last few nights has been between 2 to minus 4 degrees. So the PVA glue, the putties, all that sort of stuff is just taking an insane amount of time to dry. And I don't want any uh, mucking around. So we can see that... Um, Everything is covered in sand. Uh, we've got much denser sand than rocks at the bottom and the side you've got a finer sand. The finer sand is just going to look like a rough texture once it gets uh, caked in primer. I bought a can of automotive uh, etching primer which I'm just going to spray on. And I've got a uh, can of enamel black left over from a lap project so I'm just going to empty that to top coat it then this uh, guy will be ready for airbrushing I uh, shouldn't take long at all to paint this if I remembered with my um, last year's entry the uh, medieval-esque uh, diorama that was painted in practically a day so uh, this is looking pretty damn good uh, in the way of diorama building I am a way ahead of schedule I remember last time I was like halfway through via two weeks before things being needed to be completed uh, we could see all the 3d printing work and whatnot everything's being glued together uh, it's almost hard to believe that everything was just in like a hundred tiny different parts and it's been somehow glued puttied sanded all together so to be absolutely uh, truthful um, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this um, attempt it uh, has uh, definitely outdone what I expected I'd be able to pull off with a 3d printer in about a year's time my XAML uh, inspired scratch build which I've actually finally came up with a name um, like a lot of the World War II gigantic German um, cannons were named after uh, Norris mythology gods or characters or whatever, you know, the Thor and Odin cannon or whatnot. Being a bit of a fan of the uh, show Vikings, I'm going to call the guy Ragnar. Um, it's very amusing. So he's got a name now, it's, it's uh, the Ragnar MS. Uh, he's about more than 50% completely painted. I've been um, masking and shading and whatnot, and I do about this much of a amount of shading and then I put liquid mask on and then I airbrush the next layer of shading put more liquid mask on and I keep going until not only that this whole project is going to be um, have camouflage it's going to be shaded camouflage uh, from the bottom being uh, quite dark and shadowy to the top being uh, lightish and it should uh, I've, I've never done anything like this before I've uh, not seen a lot of work like this before so I'm very interested in how it'll come out I'm hoping it's going to be uh, very very interesting um, I'm a bit worried uh, to tell the absolute truth but um, I'm going to have a little self confidence and hope that it'll uh, work out because until I lift the mask I've got no idea what it's going to look like and once that's all uh, done, um, a lot of the skirting is going to have to have painting on the back, which would be salt weathered business, and it's going to require further shading and weathering and detailing. So this guy's a bit off, but uh, the base painting is coming along, and once that's uh, done, which is the hardest part, and the rest of it is going to be insanely easy. Um, I've been doing some more practice masking on uh, my tank. I'm actually doing a 
reviewing this mask I ran out of uh, what I normally use which is um, Neosol oh, Mr. Masking Sol Neo that ran out I was lucky to find a new bottle because I did not like the humbrol stuff whatsoever uh, I do apologize for swinging the camera around we'll look at some finished painted bits we've got the cannon uh, he's going to be inked and weathered slightly, but um, there's all sorts of tones of uh, rusticness and gunmetal going to light and whatnot. Very subtle, though I'm extremely happy how uh, that's come out. So, if uh, the rest of it's of uh, this caliper, I cannot complain whatsoever. Uh, the arms are copying a bit of uh, the salt weather treatment. It's going to have about three layers and. You can see again with this one, it's uh, going from a dark shade to a light shade. Uh, apologies again. Here is a finished piece from my finished spool. And we can see that uh, it's just a salt weathered piece. And it's uh, all shaded like crazy. really putting compared to previous years in my Gunpla Builder World Cup projects this year there is a heavy emphasis on uh, painting I think that's where I've definitely fell short in the past and this year that I'm hoping to improve so I've got many many hours more of painting nonetheless um, I'm hoping this masking works out and you thought all of that wasn't bad enough. i um, uh, got these two Zaku's almost completely done. Uh, the Zaku Big Gun. He literally needs about an hour more work. And I'm going to prime him. The Zaku Sniper. Uh, which is quite uh, silly of me. I'm going to zimmer it the whole thing. And it's exactly half the zimmer it. So he takes about two hours a day. And uh, these two will be primed and painting starting uh, this week. Uh, the painting of these two should not be too complex unlike the other two Zakus, as I am running out of time. Now, the biggest priority and the most of my hours and work is going in the diorama and the Ragnar scratch build. If anything's to happen and I run low on time, uh, these two may be abandoned. But... Um, I'm hoping them to get done to really fill out the diorama. Uh, I wanted one more Zaku, which was going to be Zaku 2 F2 high grade. At this stage, uh, that is not going to happen unless uh, I finish everything uh, fairly early. And um, that if I've got a day or two spare, I might smash it, paint it, see how far and fast I can get into it. All in all, I've got a lot of work. I do not feel very overwhelmed because uh, a lot of the hard stuff is done. Uh, once Ragnar is finished base painting, he's going down to just uh, weathering, weathering. Um, things should be really, really easy. Uh, these two guys should be an absolute uh, piece of piss. Uh, I'm actually working on this um, full time. I've uh, spent um, a good 8 to 10 hours today and yesterday. And of course, we have these three completely finished pieces, which um, I'm extremely happy with. And I most that these could stand alone as entries themselves. And nonetheless, that's not quite uh, good enough for me. And um, if everything falls together as planned, this should be one killer of uh, an entry. All in all, thank you very much for your support and watching this. Until uh, next time, I'm going to be doing um, an update on this project weekly until I pack it away in the box uh, in the second week of August. Um, I'll be filming that and flying down to Sydney to enter. All accommodations and tickets and whatnot are uh, booked. Uh, Kawaguchi, Mr. Kawaguchi is still confirmed to be attending the event. I'm very excited for him to see my work and my models. And uh, when all's done and dusted and I make individual videos about every individual model, which is all, you know, progressed in photos and updates and whatnot, should be a decent amount of content for the channel. 
Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, catch you guys later.